What's up everyone, how's it going? This is Waj, and what you're looking at right now is the Linksys WRT 3200 ACM. Now what this is, is potentially the fastest, most powerful wireless networking home solution that you can get right now. Now what makes this router special is that it effectively doubles the bandwidth from most dual band routers that can support up to 80 megahertz. With this system, you can go up to 160 megahertz. Now uh, be warned, there's actually not a lot of devices currently available right now that supports that bandwidth. In fact, the only thing that I can really think of is uh, getting another one of these WRT3200 ACM routers and using it as a wireless bridge. Now, that being said, there's going to be dedicated uh, adapters as well as uh, devices that are going to support advanced 4x4 MIMO AC wireless technology, which is going to utilize the potential bandwidth that th this thing has to offer. In fact, in 2.4 gigahertz mode, you can theoretically get up to 600 megabytes a second and in a 5 gigahertz mode you can theoretically get up to 2600 megabytes a second thus if you add 600 plus 2600 you get 3200 and that's why uh, this is called the WRT 3200 in the first place now all this is going to be relevant to the person that streams a lot of uh, high definition and 4k content whether that be movies or television shows and as well as going to be streaming uh, games with all these different services and internet bandwidth becomes a huge issue not everyone can have a wired connection and this is where a router designed for a multiple high bandwidth users becomes pretty relevant for the home enthusiasts or even uh, really small business solutions now externally you can see the design of this router is pretty much identical to the previous generation wrt 1900 ac as well as the s model so from the front panel indicator lights as well as the uh, LAN connections at the back at usb 3.0 as well as eSATA connections you pretty much have the same router from a functional standpoint, uh, externally speaking. Internally, though, it has an upgraded Marvell processor. It's still using a dual core chip, but it's clocked in at 1.8 gigahertz compared to 1.6 gigahertz uh, compared to the ACS model. And uh, as well as you have a little bit more flash memory on this unit, about 256 megabytes compared to 128 on the WRT 1900 ACS. In terms of the software itself, like most WRT Linksys routers, it has the smart Wi-Fi OS, which is very easy to use and set up, maybe limited for advanced users. But the great thing is, of course, just like any other WRT uh, routers, you can easily install third-party open source firmware such as OpenWRT or DDWRT if you want to go beyond the uh, stock software that comes pre-installed with the router. Now, in terms of the performance of this router itself, when speaking of the wired LAN connection, the maximum rate for a data throughput in terms of transmission control protocol uh, via the wired uh, connection is around 1055 megabits per second. And when it comes to uh, testing out the uh, data throughput from a wireless standpoint to keep things as real world as possible, I basically connected USB 3 hard drive directly into the router and then I connect uh, my MacBook Air uh, just uh, five feet away from the router itself, both on the 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz channels. And uh, here is uh, basically the results over here. So uh, in terms of the uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, channel, the uh, downlink speed was around 68 megabits a second and the uplink was about 52 megabits a second when we switch over to the 5 gigahertz wireless channel now keep in mind that the uh, macbook does not have an advanced ac adapter in there it's just a standard 2x2 two two, uh, mimo system so uh, certainly not utilizing the full capabilities of what this router has to offer but uh, that being said we got a speed about 204 megabits a second in terms of downlink and about 174 megabits a second in terms of uplink so generally not too bad. You're not going to see any real difference between uh, this router and a standard AC router unless you have the proper 4x4 uh, adapter uh, built into your uh, laptop or you have an external adapter that can utilize that full bandwidth. And again, even that being said, there's still not uh, any adapters that can utilize the tri-stream technology of having a spatial stream up to 160 megahertz. So that's certainly future-proof technology. There 
that we'll probably be seeing in a lot more upcoming devices with more advanced AC wireless technology. But really, on that, guys, that's really it. Uh, as we mentioned before, uh, this router is certainly designed for the future and for the person that's going to expand their networking capabilities uh, later on. So it's a great uh, solution uh, if you're going to plan ahead. Uh, right now, speaking, there's not really a major advantage from this to a standard 1900 AC router, and uh, certainly uh, the price is a little bit higher uh, for that future-proof technology, and you are getting solid hardware inside. But really, on that, guys, that's really it. If you have any specific questions, let me know, and thanks for watching again. We'll see you later. Take care.